In today's video, I will be showing you how to change an image into an icon. The first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and click on download free icon editor and we now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms and then go next if you agree. And we now need to go I agree again if you agree and go next. And we can now choose where we'd like to install Junior Icon Editor. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. You then need to press next again. And we now want to go next. Once Junior Icon Editor has finished installing, we can now keep launch application now selected and go finish. You will now see a screen that looks like this. We now have a few different options. We can choose the size of our new icon. We can also choose which colors we'd like it to use. Obviously, I would recommend you use 32 bit because that's the most colors. And we can then go ahead and press OK. Also, you can select the conversion mode. Now we need to locate the image that you want to turn into an icon. I'm just going to maximize the program. We now need to go file and you then need to go open. And you now need to change the file type to the file type of your image. I'm going to be using a .png, which means I need to select .png. And I can now open up my image by clicking on it and going open. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. We now want to select 256 by 256 and then go OK. You will now have your image on the screen. We now want to right click on the image on the right hand side and we want to go new image. We now want to select 64 by 64 also making sure you have 32 bits selected still and then go OK. We now want to do the same again right click on the 64 by 64 go new image and this time select 30 no 48 by 48 and go OK and we want to do the same again new image 32 by 32 new image 24 by 24 and we then want to finally do new image and 16 by 16 and press OK. Basically the reason behind doing different image sizes is because if you were to go onto Windows and then change the size of your icons or folders then Windows will then look for the appropriate size within the .ico file. So that's why we've done that. We can now go ahead and click on file and you can now click on save as. We now need to change the save as type to a .ico file type and you then need to go save. I'm actually going to save this to my desktop and go save. As you can see I now have the icon on my desktop. If I now right click and create a new folder and let's just actually go into this folder and then right click again and go new folder. I can now right click on the folder and go properties and then I can go on to customize and change icon. I can now browse for the icon that I just saved which is on my desktop and then select the icon and go open. If I now press OK and apply and OK there we go as you can see the folder icon has now changed. If I then go view and this is what I was just on about the different sizes if we go medium as you can see it's now changed it to the right icon size. If I change view to large there we go it still looks nice and clear. If I right click again and go view and extra large there we go it has a nice clear icon. You can also do the same for a file shortcut. If I right click and go new and then file text document. If I now right click the file and go copy and then paste shortcut I can now right click the shortcut and go to properties. I can now go onto the shortcut and we can then click on change icon and we can now browse our icon again and click on the .ico and go open, OK, apply and OK and there we go. As you can see the shortcut and the folder both have my new custom icon and that is how you create a new icon or a icon should I say in Windows 10 using an image. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to hit the like button below and also subscribe to this channel. 
I will see you all in the next video.